So if you've been playing for a while, you know that your plane can stagnate slightly. Uh, we can fall into ruts and we want a little push into new territory just to refresh our creativity. We're going to present you three effect ideas that you can use to expand your playing. So blues is obviously quite an umbrella term. So what we're going to be doing is having a look at why you would use some of these effects, how they've been used in the past, and ways in which you can incorporate them into the things you're doing. We're going to be looking at players potentially like Jimi Hendrix, uh, Joe Bonamassa, Gary Clark Jr. Uh, the idea with this is that obviously the list goes on forever, but we want to give you new ideas that you can try out at home. So before we dive in, I think it's important to say that some of these might appear to be quite obvious things to people who've been playing for a while. For those people who haven't been playing for a while, these might be cool ideas to try out. So the first effect we're going to be looking at is going to be fuzz. So fuzz is a different type of distortion and uh, breakup than you get from something like an overdrive pedal or even a dedicated distortion pedal. Um, it's a lot more angular, it's got way more attack on it, and it's going to be um, quite, I mean, literally, as the name says, fuzzy. Some players that have been using this sort of thing are uh, Jimi Hendrix, who's very famous for it. We've got players like Jack White, who famously uses fuzz and octave together. If you're looking for that extra bit of grit with your guitar playing, the uh, lines you're playing need to cut a little bit more, fuzz is probably going to be for you. You can also use it on rhythm parts just to make them really stand out and you can combine it with an octaver to get some really interesting effects. An example of the fuzz that we're going to use today is the Big Muff Nano uh, from Electro Harmonics. The Big Muff is a pedal and yes it does have a funny name. This is just a smaller version of the normal Big Muff pedal which has been quite a legacy fuzz and used on countless records. So hopefully there you can hear that the sound is quite thick. Um, depending on the types of fuzz you get, it can get more transparent or more angular. One thing to note is going to be the pick attack on this thing. So when you dig in a little bit more, it becomes a little bit more um, transient based, which means the, the first part of the note is going to be a bit more apparent. Um, that's a really cool effect that you can use in some of your blues soloing or potentially to use in some of your rhythm playing. So the second effect that we're going to look at is compression. In my hands I have a Boss CS3, um, this is a compression sustainer, and what a compressor is going to do is it's going to make essentially your loud parts quiet and your quiet parts loud. So it makes your, uh, your tone a little bit more even, and it means that as a result your notes will sustain slightly longer than they would normally. Um, when I think of players who are famous for using compressors, it would be funk players typically, but you can use this uh, in your blues playing as well, just to give it that little bit of different character. So for instance, if you wanted a nice easy way of accessing the type of note that B.B. King would pull off, we've all heard B.B. King do that note where he goes up high and he goes bing, and that's it. The compressor is going to enable that to sustain far longer than it would normally. Um, so it might be something to have a look at uh, if you're looking to expand some of your lead playing ideas, give a little bit more life to them. Uh, another thing that you can do with the compressor is to squish some of your attack on rhythm playing and things like that so it becomes a little bit easier to fit in a band setting and make it fit in a mix and uh, and just uh, have fun with it.
The last one that we're going to look at is wah. So a wah is essentially an EQ in a pedal and it's a curve that you move around the frequency spectrum. When the wah pedal is down, you're going to end up with a mid hump lower in the uh, frequency spectrum. And then when it's pushed up, it's going to get higher. This means you end up with a sweeping sound that sort of sounds vowel-like, as if someone was talking. And to that end, this is what wah pedals are usually used for in blues playing or in any form of uh, music really, is it gives that sort of vocal quality that you would expect from maybe a singer, but you can use it on your guitar. So wah pedals come in a variety of different shapes, sizes, and sounds. They all essentially do the same thing, but uh, it just depends on where that sweep is and how drastic it is. And uh, for me, one of the things that I look out for is the actual range of the pedal, because some of them can be really short and some of them can be really wide. This particular one is the Gary Clark Jr. model from Dunlop. So obviously Dunlop do the Crybaby, which has been used on countless records. But there are also other companies to check out. There are brands like Morley, who do the Bad Horsey Wah. Steve Vai famously used this for his song Bad Horsey, so you can check that out. They also come with some really cool features where they, they only activate when they're stood on and things like that. There are also brands like Vox that do their own takes on the Wah, and I'm sure many more. So let's have a listen to how wah sounds in our signal chain. Uh, in particular, pay attention to the way that it vocalizes certain things when you're playing. Uh, my mouth will probably move quite a bit, and that's fine because you can do that at home too. So that was wah. Hopefully you can hear the different effects that you can use. Uh, there are obviously a bunch of different options for this. If you want to go down like some sort of hard rock metal route, aside from blues, you would go for um, like a high gain amp and you could use this to uh, get some really interesting effects. So that was three different effects that you can use to expand your blues playing. Hopefully push you in some new directions or try out some new things if you're looking for you know, different ideas to push you into new territory. Uh, look out for more episodes like this coming in the future. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, give us a like, subscribe for more stuff like this, and we'll see you next time. Bye.